back in my garage. Um, it's been updated. They had an inverted mouse. I love this man. Who are you, buddy? Big hugs next time I see you. If I ever see you, gonna hug the gonna hug the crap right out of you, mm, right in your face. So, I decided today I wanted to play. Uh, I wanted to play this because I I wasn't gonna for another day, but I just I really enjoy it. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, stupid amounts of a lot. And I know it's unfinished and stuff, but the guy's doing such good work, man. Like, oh my god, here. Just trash bin and shit up. I've got a little over two grand. Like, oh no, this is broken, isn't it? Okay, well, we're, okay, we're gonna miss a taillight here, but... Everything else is looking pretty good. Rust, not so much, but... This is all bent to shit, and I'm going to assume, just from looking at it, the only way I'm getting it out is probably to cut it. So I'm going to remove the little uh, the lights here. Oh, that's a screwdriver. Okay, never mind. Um, so we can get at it a little bit. This is I love the tool system of this. Like, it's kind of... Whoa, sweet. Okay. It's kind of like... My summer car, but a little more simple, which is good if you don't want to have all the hell of my summer car. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore my summer car, but it's not for everybody. I can tell you that much. Oh, oh, did we get it? Did we get... Mm. Why aren't you coming off, bud? I thought... Oh, it's it, somehow that got screwed back in. Okay, hang on. All right. Let's just uh, unscrew that. Did that make it fall off? All right, we should really bring one of those tools. There it is. Okay, so one of these is busted. Was it this one that was busted? Yeah, this one's shot. So we're gonna throw this one in the bin. I should just make a pile and at the end of the episode throw stuff in the bin, but you never know. All right, let's get in there. Oh, oh, oh! No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Oh, I can move the bin. I didn't know I could move the bin. Oh, let's move it right to the let's move it to the front edge of the shop here. I don't want it in the way here, but there we go. All right, okay, so now that that's off, I think I think this one looks looked all right. Is this is this looking all right? This looks all right, right? Okay, we'll salvage what we can. <sighs> all right, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, yeah, grinder. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, okay. I want the grinder. I think it needs a new, yeah, it needs a new desk. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing real well. You know, I'm having a day. And this is going to make me feel bad. i got to go to work, and I don't kind of want to today. I love my job, and I've gone on about this before, but lately, and it's not, again, it's not because of the job. It's just, you know, with all the YouTube stuff I'm doing and just, you know, stuff going on in life, it's just sometimes it gets a bit, uh, a bit much. But uh, this is going to cheer me up. Okay, can we, can we just, can we just lock in? Okay, you're a son of, is it on? Nope. <laughs> Okay. All right, here, drop you here. <clears throat> nope, that's not what I wanted either. <sighs> it's going to be a day. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, first of all, I got to flip you over so I can reach you. There you go. Wait a minute. That grinding disc still on there. That's why. All right, get out of here. You're, you're basically worthless. I want a new one. I didn't know. I thought that was just the, the thing on it. There we go. Okay, so... I'm hoping I can just cut this whole... Oh, there it is, too. Nice. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I want to cut you, and I want to cut you, and I want to cut... Oh, no. I don't want to cut that. <laughs> okay. Okay. We just got to see in here now. I want to cut you, and you. That should be all the... There it is. All right. Well, okay. Oh, oh no! Not my grinder. Oh, I got the disc off of it. Get, get okay, there we go. All right. So this was all jacked up. Last I looked at it. Okay, come here, you. Oh, my God. Just get, get pick it up. As you can see, it's all bent on that one side over here. Uh, so we're just going to get rid of it. We'll order, we'll order a new one or cut one out of a used car, maybe. But... I don't see a point hanging. Like, as far as I know, there's no body tools yet or anything, so we're just going to have to trash it up. All right, we're making a couple of bucks here, though, which is good. 
I think I'm going to replace all the suspension parts. Possibly. The carrier is in really good shape, but the, that, that differential shot. Um, the shock absorbers are good on the bottom, but not the top. And this one's missing the shot completely on this side, as well as the spring. Which the spring is here, and I'm pretty sure the spring is collapsed. Or it's a progressive rate spring. But I'm going to assume it's broken. Uh, ugh. So we'll just get new springs. Front and rear springs. Can't be... You son of a bitch. <laughs> Can't be that expensive. But we're going to have to do some real work at some point, too, to make money. In order to support our vehicle uh, rebuild here. Oh, yeah. There it is. Just get it all. Just get it all. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm Russ's worst nightmare. Oh, yeah. Let's get it all off. Ugh. So many games are really bad at this kind of stuff, and this one just nails it. It just nails it. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to just get rid of all this rust. It's like Power Wash Simulator, and I know people have been asking to keep playing that, but the problem I've had with that game lately is the time it takes sometimes two and three hours to do those uh washing jobs and i haven't had two or three hours to do the washing jobs oh god is that rust right there i can't get at looks like there's some rust around this window too oh yeah just get it all get it all oh yes oh my god there it is there it is now, I guess I don't got to get it all, but I just wanted to get a lot of it off. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Look at this. How much fun is this? Watch and be bored, fools. <laughs> I think I'm just a little too far away, maybe? No, that's not it. I'm not sure what's causing that. All right. Okay, let's see here. Now, I've noticed this floor pan shot, too, so we're probably going to have to remove that. But well, that's some of the rust off. We clearly can't get inside to get the rust until we get it off the hoist. I think part of today's thing might be, uh, let's see, getting wheels on this so we can, uh, yeah, I think there may be a com wheel component to all this. Because, like, this is missing the whole knuckle here and everything. Um, but the ball joints are there. Brakes, we don't have brakes on this side. We have brakes. Do we have the caliper on the side or is it missing too? It's missing as well. We need a spring. Yeah, like there's nothing. Like this is going to be a shit ton of work. All right. Let's just start uh, dismantling suspension systems here. We'll keep what we can, get rid of what we don't need. All right. Come on. So I'm thinking I should just remove the whole. Yep. There we go. Oh, watch over that bottom one. It could pop. There we go. Take this. Okay. How do we get the... That should be out. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to use a spring compressor? To get that out? Oh, maybe. Oh, there we go. All right. See, this spring looks all right. Like, it's not sagging or anything so i'm gonna put it over here and it's just wait a minute can i put oh can i put the spring in the box maybe box yep it's going in box okay <laughs> okay now we can get the shock absorber out there we go you can go in the maybe pile i don't know if i'm gonna reuse this crap it's pretty pretty destroyed um now if i no, my cars. This should probably come up into the engine bay somewhere. Uh, is that it? I'm thinking this is it here. Whoops. Okay. Dude, I keep hitting the wrong buttons here. Now that should loosen. There we go. Shock absorber. Now this shock, like I said, this shock absorber looks all right. So I'll put it in the box with the other one. We'll grab this spring compressor. See if we can't... Uh, Bring that over here. We'll grab this. This side actually looks better than it did the first time. Fall off. Come on. There you go. 
All right, so take this off. Is this going to be a hammering out situation? Oh, wait a minute. It's on the back. I was going to say, is this going to be a hammering out situation? <laughs> All right. We've got to remove this knuckle here. This can come out. Oh, God, I've tipped it. I've tipped it. Okay. Okay, just relax. Just relax. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. Oh, 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 oh. Got it. Okay. We got to get this back underneath it here. I think we're going to have to lower it down to get it back underneath somewhat because there's no floor there, right? So let's put it all the way down. There we go. We'll readjust this. Oh, there we go. And we'll go back up again. Okay. Am I still zoomed in? Yeah, that's the problem. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay, let's bring it way up. So we can really dig around without getting down there. Okay, let's see. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. <sighs> Better. Where's my spring compressor? Of course, it's on the ground. I should go get one of those carts. That's what I should do. Bam. All right. Uh, you can go down. Oh, spring fell out. Yeah, this spring looks good, too. So we'll keep it in the box. Here you go, box. All right. Let's see here now. This knuckle here looks salvageable so we'll put it in the box all right and then we'll remove this Ugh. and we'll undo the top of that spring oh no that 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 shock's already out it's the bottom of the shock we need to remove all right here we go that's out and that should fall off and he, oh, there we go. Any second now. Bam. Okay. So these will go in the maybe pile in case I can't afford parts. Uh, that way we can just reuse what we have here. But these look pretty, pretty rusted. I wonder if I can actually, no, I was going to check that. Where's my, can I take this? Can I polish these at all? Maybe. No, I can't. Okay, and that ball joint looks pretty dinked anyway, so let's see. Front suspension is out. That's good. All right, time to go to the rear. Okay, we only got one spring left in the rear, too, so that helps. Oh, yeah, this... I can't tell if this is any good. Like, it doesn't have the hub on it, I can tell you that much. But I think, I think I'll just pack, park these over here for now. All right, let's see. Let's get the spring. Let's get this up here. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the rear here. I love this so much. Okay. Let's see here. We'll take out this here. All right. And we'll undo that. Oh, I'm not close enough. That was the thing that was hurting me before. I didn't realize I needed to get closer than I was. Oopsie. Uh, get this con stupid control arm. Come here. There we go. Okay, you had to get closer than I was getting. That's why it wasn't working properly right away. Okay, let's see. We're going to undo this. All right, take that out. There we go. Boy, most of the suspension on this thing is shot, eh? I wonder if I can remove the axle as a whole assembly with everything that's still attached, kind of attached. Because... Ugh. The one brake on here still looks all right. The only thing holding it in currently is the drive shaft and that spring. And I'm going to need my spring compressor here to get that spring out. There we go. There we are. And then we'll take this. We'll undo that. Oh, there we go. It fell out. Nice. Now, this brake caliper looks crappy, so... Off it comes. Mm, I'm not going to bother salvaging pads, so this can go in the trash pile. All right, let's see here. This uh, this rear end unit is shot, it looks like. And I bought the one, too, that had the uh, lock differential, too, right? Is that all of them? All right, let's see here. All right. 
There we go. Oh, it took the axle right out. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. All right. Let's get this axle off. All right. Axle looks a bit worn, but, you know, it's an axle. How, how worn could it be? This axle looks lovely. This one is shot. So, even with the... I wonder why I can't get this disc off here. Oh, it's that screwdriver. It's a screw. Okay, hang on. There's a retaining thing there. Yeah. I've never seen a car with one of these, but I've heard of it. Is that going to work? Oh, yeah, see, this brake looks all right. So, maybe we'll save that disc. All right. Ugh. But this axle is definitely worn out compared to the other one. Uh, they're just calling it a hub. It's not as worn out as the other parts, but this one still looks good. So we'll put this in over here with the... There's very few keep pieces compared to get rid of pieces. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring it down. Drive shaft looks good. Transmission actually looks pretty good. Uh, this floor's got to go. Which isn't going to help anything considering that mount is sitting right on it. All right, we're going to bring it down so we can get that those, that shock absorber out of there. Let's see here. Bring it down. No, it just doesn't want to come off. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Normally, you just undo the bolts, let the grease out, and then pry like you just kind of pry at it, and it's just held on by a seal. But I don't see... I don't see anything else. Um, come apart. All right. Well, we're going to put you in the good pile for now. All right. Because most of you is kind of good. Oh, this shock absorber looks kind of good. But I feel like... Uh, did we keep the other shock absorber? We did. All right. Let's just... Uh, whoop. We'll keep you. All right. Let's see here. Everything else is looking good except that floor, right? But we got to get the shock absorber out. So where's my wrench? There we go. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I like that everything's the same size, too. Whoa, where'd it go? There we go. Got it. This one's shot. Oh, God. Got it. Okay. So that's most stuff off of what I need other than I say we end up cutting the floor out, but I'm going to lower it down first. All right, lower it down. We're going to have to find other places on the rear body here to catch it. And it seems like the best place is under this quarter panel here. So we're going to adjust the other one to that side of the quarter panel. Ooh. Oh, I can't. The car's too far this way. Let me just give her a little bump here. All right, let's just bump it a little more, bump it a little more, bump it a little more. Okay. All right. Extend this out. Under that, there we go. And then we will extend this out like this. And then under that... Uh, you know what? I think this will. I think this will work, and we just got to bring this one back a little ways. Okay, let's see here. Come on. Will this work? Let's just see. <laughs> All right, we'll see if this goes up. Oh, absolutely not. Okay, down you go. Now it's too far back, but. I think I got a good plan here. Okay, let's just shove this forward a bit. All right, I'll get back to you guys when I finally get this thing back on the hoist. All right, I think I think I got it back on. Let's just go up and see. All right, there we go. That took more minutes than any human being should spend doing that. Okay, so now... All right, I want to... Okay, it's just... Uh, 
There we go. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to cut the other floor out. Because uh, we need a new a new floor on that other side as well, which we all knew that anyway. And I'm just an idiot and didn't cut it out when I should have. Okay, we have, we have a welder actually, which is awesome. Okay, let's just uh, put that on there like this. Grab this and uh, see what we can do about this uh, this here floor. Okay. Oh my god! Just don't don't push it off. That's not all of it. Okay, let me see here. This inner fender well is all right. I'm assuming there is something on that side we can't see. Up we get. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Let's check under here. All right, let's see here. We'll get this out. All right, let's put a new disc on it because it needs one. These discs do not last, man. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Put this down here. The, the rain doesn't last long enough. It needs to be better than this. All right, let's see here. Put this on. Bam. Okay. There it is. Okay, I just couldn't see. When you lose uh, your disc, you can no longer see the spots because it doesn't work anymore. Whoop. Oh, God, we lost that whole uh, rocker panel in the process. <laughs> All right, okay, well. It's probably because it was attached to the floor bit. Okay, come here, you. Okay, don't want to die here. All right, there we go. Okay, this can go in the trash because this is, well, trash. <laughs> All right. You know, we've made like 10 bucks, so don't judge me. Okay, let's see here. This actually doesn't look in too bad of a shape. You know what? For what it is... This looks salvageable, so I'll hang on to that. Now, we're again falling off the hoist because I had it on the floor, and I knew that. All my parts just kind of lifted up out of the box here. Oh, you can keep them in the box. That's cool as shit. Okay. So that takes care of most of the parts that need to come off, right? Now we need to get parts to go back on. Okay, where's the... Oh, there it is. I've been using this jack because I've noticed something. You can push the whole car around with the jack. Okay. Oh, I'm in the box. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's put this in here. Okay. Oh! Well, this is bitching. What? How'd I end up up here? Well, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh! Okay, well, this is over. Oh, this is a problem. All right, let's get up. Something about getting that close with this jack is not working. <laughs> so you can push the whole car around with the jack. Like, look. <laughs> so if you need to maneuver your car a bit, uh, this is how you do it. Okay, that one's fine on that side. Okay, this one is not fine on this side. We need to... Okay, it needs to go back a little bit, I think. And it, it'll lift the car, too, which is awesome. Okay, it needs to come over that way. Okay, okay. And it needs to go that way. And then to the right a little bit. Okay, that didn't work at all. All right. How are we doing now? Ah, better. All right, let's just try that. Okay, so this is not under anything anymore, but you know, it's always a process with this thing. Okay, let's just push it back this way just slightly. All right, let's just lift it up and see what happens. Okay. It's hanging on for now. Okay, so I think this is going all right, but I'm going to have to get in there and grind. It also needs a whole bunch of parts, right? So, and this is probably going to cost me more than I have. Like, we need all the front and rear suspension parts, pretty much. Um, 
let me see what's in the book. All right, car parts. Let's see. Uh, engine brake suspension. Uh, I think that's spelt wrong. Now, let's see here. I wish I could just buy the whole unit for the rear and see how much that costs. Hub front, hub right, rear axle, 254 bucks. We get a brand new rear axle? Mm. You know what? Oh, my God. A locked... It, it's actually not as expensive as I thought. Buy a control arm. We'll buy another control arm. We'll buy an upper control arm. Drive shaft's fine. We'll get a lock differential. Right? We're going to buy a rear axle, because we can. Uh, two rear springs. Two rear shocks. And I think we're going to need one hub, I think. Because I think the other one was all right. And then we're going to need the brakes for it. But let's get this. Let's just see what happens if we go and try to do this. All right. Let's see here. Because, look, we bought all the stuff. So we can put this differential, for example, in here, right? After we mount this, or should we do it on the ground? I feel like this is uh, easier on the ground kind of thing. Bam, look at that. We got a brand new differential. Now we can throw out the old one, make a few bucks. Where's my wrench? I left it laying around somewhere, and now I don't know where it is. There it is. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to take this. We're going to look. Uh, should we? Is this, is this, is this tightened up now? All right, here we go. Oh, thank you, Axel. That's great. All right. Oh, no. Put it in there. I think that's that. Now, we got to put both uh, axles in it. And I think they made them exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about it. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to take this, and we're going to just zip this down. Should be one on the other side here. I can't quite see. So we're going to put this down and pick you up. I should really be working on this on a table, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. There it is. Okay, so there's the hub. Now, that's one right axle. Now, does this say hub left? No, they all say hub R. I wonder if it just meant rear, then, if the R stands for rear and it's not a right and left axle, because that would be fine. Hoop, 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 hoop. Okay, this one looked all right, so it's going to go. Perfect. Okay. Got the hubs in. Or the, well, it's the axle shaft, I guess, but it's going in. Perfect. All right, so... That's kind of in. We got two new rear springs. We got all the control arms you could ever imagine. Where's the short one? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. It's got to get a little closer. There it is. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's a windshield wiper I bought for no particular reason. All right. Well, that's fine. Oh, yeah. You know what, though? The problem is at the moment, the, part of it attaches to the floorboards, and we don't have the floorboards. So let's go body. Do we have floor pans here? Let me see. We got right front fender. No, 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 no. What's this? Wheel well. We need that too, but that can come later. Floor left, floor right. All right, let's buy that. Let's see what that is. Let's see. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, okay. Okay. This is floor left. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. I'm not sure if this snaps in or or what. I feel like it should. All right, let's just. Uh... All right, give me a second here, boys. I'm... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we're leaning in now. I think we need to be closer to it. Is this, is this not right? Did I order the wrong floorboard or something? I feel like the LC is the conv either left corner 
or specific to the convertible because convertibles generally have different floor pans because they're reinforced because they don't have that roof reinforcement. So maybe it has to be on the brown, brown on the ground. Let's just buy the LC one just for shits, just to see what the difference is. Okay. Because here's the original one that I was just looking at. It looks identical to me. Is this an LC? No, this is this is just an LC. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, it is the LC model. Oh, okay. So we just wasted our money. Got it. Now we get to use this. I think. I think this is how this works. Okay, so we're going to take this up here. Okay, we're going to... Rotate you over. We're going to grab that. Oh, here we go. All right. How does this work? Okay, I'm not sure how to weld yet. <laughs> See, I feel like that doesn't fit at the back. Like, look at that. Like, does anybody else get the distinct feeling that this just doesn't fit in this? And that I need the other one? Because this one's a bit different or something. I... Does this one fit better? Does it even fit at all? See, this one you can't even get to go in at all. So, oh, it's sort of, but it doesn't actually like lock into place. But this one does. So welding I don't understand yet, but we're going to get there eventually. Dude... I don't know how to weld. That's uh that's a definite thing. All right, can we turn this? That's on. All right, well I can't put a rear suspension in until I weld that in. Does it have to be on the ground maybe to weld? I don't let's put it up some more. Alrighty. Maybe it's because I'm wondering if it's because this is sitting on it maybe and pushing it out of alignment um because this definitely is sitting on it so maybe i'll put it down all the way let's just see here put it down all the way watch over that spring compressor we're fine put it down all the way let's see if we can get this out of the way First of all, we'll move this. Thank you. Well, knock my welder over. All right, that's fine. We don't need that anyway. We're fine. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool, I say. Okay, this is definitely causing some problems here. Well, it fell off the lift again. <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave this episode here. That was a good bit of work, though, we got done. I just got to figure out how to weld. So I'm going to look that up, I think. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment and join my misadventures of redesigning this car. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get, scapegoat. I keep falling more in love with this game every time I play it. Out.